mashed potatoes, the classic comfort food side dish. Or, as I like to call it, Wallpaper paste. We're doing mashed potatoes my way. Now, this recipe calls for, of course, potatoes. You're gonna need about four to five average sized potatoes for this one. Step one, clean the potato. Step two, peel the potato. Step three, dice the potato into cubes. This is how you want them, cubed in, into big chunks like this. As you're doing this, take the pot you're gonna boil the potatoes in, fill it with water, and then dump the potatoes in the water to prevent them from turning brown. Now we got our pot full of potatoes on the stove. So let's turn the heat to high and throw in a couple of big pinches of salt. Ah, uh, now that's what I call a rolling boil. Boil the potatoes for 15 to 20 minutes, or when a potato cube, ugh, when a potato cube, ugh, when a po ugh, I had it, a potato cube easily gets crushed between the tongs, they're ready. So let's turn off the heat and toss the potatoes into a strainer. Strain, transfer them to a bowl. Once we have that going, take half a stick of butter, slice it up, add it to our potato mixture, add some chives, some garlic, and yeah, this is frozen garlic, but it's really good high quality frozen garlic. Uh, you're gonna need about uh, four cloves or four cubes if you're using this brand. And the thing that brings it all together, sour cream. And about half a cup. You know, make it a cup. And finally, we mash it all together. Give it a taste test. Not bad. A little bit more salt. Perfect. There you have it, folks. Once you try my fully loaded mashed potato, you'll never go back to the butter infused spackle that is classic mashed potatoes. Thank you for joining me on Chase Cut and Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun meeting at this time.